So in one crucial respect, the agility needed to run and jump, our Neanderthal was inferior to our ancestors. And there was a reason why. It seems that his body plan simply wasn't that of a runner. What characterizes all Neanderthals are these extraordinarily short lower limbs, built for power, not so good for speed, not so good for long distance running. And if we move up from these short limbs into the pelvis, what we find is a pelvis that itself is extraordinarily broad. This means the pelvis is not going to be as biomechanically efficient in long distance locomotion as our own. It seems that the very features that made Neanderthal perfectly adapted to the rigors of the Ice Age had also locked him into an evolutionary dead end. <coughs> Modern humans may not have been adapted to the cold, but they were tailor-made for the open plains. It's kind of ironic. Neanderthals were adapted to the cold, but that's not what made the difference. Modern humans were better able to exploit the open spaces, the steppic habitats that were expanding in, in Ice Age Europe. And as the forest retreated, the Neanderthals retreated along with them. Unable to survive in the open, Neanderthals could only have clung on in ever-decreasing woodland refuges. And as their habitat collapsed around them, their population fell. The effect on their population seems to be that the populations that were once closely connected across Europe begin to get fragmented and scattered. Uh, there comes a point around 25,000 years ago that these populations are no longer viable and the Neanderthals disappear from the planet. All in all, our skeleton tells a classic evolutionary tale. The traditional saga of superior modern humans wiping out the primitive and inferior Neanderthals may well be wrong. Instead, the answer to that age-old question of why we are here and Neanderthal is not may come down to something much more random. Environmental change and the twists of evolutionary fate.